The Mystery of Patience First Lesson, James 1-4 But let patience have perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Second Lesson, Matthew 24-13 But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Golden Text, James 5, 7-8 Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Patience, the way out. Brethren, the lessons above form the nucleus of our discourse. Being acquainted with this gospel is divine providence, and it would do anyone good who would be opportune to do so. The number of years which you spent in BCS is of no use if you do not practice the word of God, which are given to you by the supernatural teacher. Many people get baptized into BCS through persuasion, and once they baptize, they abscond and they would not participate in any of the BCS activities and will not want to identify with the fold. You cannot call yourself a member of BCS after. All faith without work is dead. Be patient. Look back to the River State Branch of Elders Fellowship who came to Calabar. The large hall was full to its capacity. Ironically, the International Elders Fellowship could not pull half the crowd. We keep praying to God to give us children, money, wealth, and houses. The only problem is that we do not have patience. The work done by patience in this world and other worlds cannot be quantified. The Father is using patience as a weapon to overcome the world. Patience is what the world is lacking. Without patience, nothing meaningful can happen. If you want a reward for your labor, you have to endure patiently to the end. Why you do not enjoy the goodness of your husband is due to your lack of patience. You cannot benefit from your wife because you lack patience. You do not benefit from your church denomination because you cannot endure patiently. Your bane. You fail in your business because you lack patience. If you are to meet someone for business, you cannot have enough patience to wait for the person. At times, the moment he leaves the house is the time you arrive. Due to lack of patience, you cannot accept any advice from someone. The first thing we should request from God is patience. Because of impatience, you are fond of praying to God to do something for you instantly, and you will not have patience to wait for God's reply before you resort to preparation of charms, amulets. The same is the limit of the extent you will go to achieve your aim. What patience is? So you can see that your greatest problem is lack of patience. As such, when you are called for testimony, your first confession is impatience. There's the wise saying that patience is golden. Another one says patience cures all wounds. That is why anybody who has patience would always succeed in his or her endeavors. This is true. There is no other thing you can use to win the world other than patience. This is what God has used to conquer the whole universe and overcome it. Our prayers from one time to another are before him, and all the things we do daily are placed before him. He tolerates us because of his boundless patience. If your dealing and interaction with God's service is devoid of patience, then you may be without rewards. This is also true of man's dealing with man. If you do not have patience, you will go home with nothing in any relationship with another person. All the wars in the world are caused by lack of patience. If you have had patience, we would have received much goodness and benefits from God. This is to encourage those who have no patience to pray for it, and those who have a little should pray for more. Also, those who have enough patience should pray for its continued possession. If you have no wisdom but possess patience, you will have peace and can overcome every odd situation. 
the mystery of patience. If you do not have money, but you have patience, you have overcome. If you are an orphan, but have patience, you have equally overcome the world. No matter your deficiency in life, once you have patience, you are well equipped. That is why you are enjoined to give patience a chance. Patience has a special duty to perform in all our lives. Patience is like salt of which it is absent in soup. There will be no savor in the soup. Patience is more costly than salt. There is nothing more valuable than patience and it cannot be compared with anything. Patience is the only driver of a boat and the captain of a ship. If you have mercy and lack patience, your merciful heart will be very brief. It will not last. If you are truthful but lack patience, your truth would have a short lifespan. If you are generous and lack patience, your generosity is not going to be durable. God's Attribute If you are a humble person but lack the patience, you would not continue for a long time because after a while you would discontinue. Patience is that mustard seed, and it is God's attribute. Any person who has patience cannot retaliate, no matter the provocation. With patience, one cannot refute any allegation against him. A patient man allows every event to take its course. There is virtually nothing one can do to anybody who possesses patience. That is why you are enjoined to give patience a chance to fulfill all righteousness. Patience is an abstract phenomenon, yet it is felt. Importance of patience is inexhaustible. Let us read the first lesson. First lesson, James 1, 4. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Give patience a chance. How can you overcome temptation when you do not have patience? How can you reap the fruits of your labor and good recommendation if you lack patience? How can you attain salvation if you do not have patience? You cannot make significant progress without patience. Our Lord Jesus the Christ overcame all the temptations through patience. It is written that, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. A bruised reed shall he not break, and smoking flax shall he not quench, till he send forth judgment unto victory, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. Matthew twelve eighteen through 21 Good Forum Any person who does not have patience is not a child of God. You can never do any good thing in life unless you have patience. Someone can build a magnificent building and set it ablaze in a slightest provocation. A person who lacks patience cannot stop fighting, exasperation, and infighting among other vices. The Father inaugurated the Elders' Fellowship because of his immense love and he uses the occasion to deliver important sermons such as this topic on patience. Patience cannot be bought in the market, and no one has patience in the world. A person carrying hernia does not complain of pains, but a neighbor complains of sleepless nights for him. This is exhibit of lack of patience. Illustration The Mystery of Patience There was a well-to-do man who was creditor to many people. One day, he summoned all his children and asked them to make their request, as he was to travel the following day. Some children wanted cars, gold, bicycle, new design clothes, among other mundane things. However, a daughter asked him to buy patience for her. The girl made this request because she knew that her father was deficient in patience. This was informed by many court cases he instituted against his business partners. As far as the man was concerned, the daughter's request was frivolous because unlike the request of other children, patience is an abstract thing. As such, he purchased the needs of all the other children except patience. Something within him prompted him to look for the only request, patience, to buy. He continued to move from one shop to another for patience. None of the shops had patience for sale. This delayed his departure. 
Since he could not find it in any shop, he decided to go from one street to another in search of patience. By implication, he started to develop patience by moving from one place to another searching for it. He then made a promise that anyone who would have patience for sale would be paid any amount of money. He got to a place where he was told that patience was sold there, but that the king must be patient in order to purchase patience. But the man did not even come out to meet this king. The king wanted to confirm whether the man actually had patience to sell. He was enjoined to exercise patience before he could buy patience. He informed the king that if he did not exercise patience, he would go empty handed when the king was eager to confirm his claim. So the king continued to wait until late in the night. It was at this time that the man inside the house put up a light. He came out, but did not treat the king as a visitor. He kept the rich man waiting for a very reasonable time. This shows how costly patience is. Irked by the delay, the king wanted the man to confirm the assertion, only to be admonished by the man that the king might leave without patience, and that if the king was patient, it would cost him nothing to buy patience. Late in the night, the wife to the man who sold patience returned from the market. The king thought that the man was going to beat up his wife for coming back late. He was not annoyed with his wife. By the time the woman could serve her husband with food, it was late in the night. After the dinner, the rich man was given a guest room to rest till the following morning. In the morning, many people kept coming in to express appreciation to the couple for giving them patience. They thanked the couple that since they bought patience from them, they were able to have peace in their lives. These people gave money in appreciation to the family for the work well done. The rich man left for home without informing his host. Normally, what he used to do when he came back from a journey was to summon his children and servants. These people would feed him with every information. He would always react irrationally on the information he received and thereby instituted court actions against his debtors and business associates who in one way or the other could not meet their contract agreement. But in this case, he did not entertain complaints and was not annoyed with anyone. This was unusual. He did not tell them prices of the wares he bought from the trip. His servants and children sold these materials higher than the normal prices. His debtors came to settle their indebtedness on their own, unlike his former approach of coercion. The elders of the village and other people who had land cases with him, on learning of his return and his new approach, decided to hand over his lands and his other properties. The people were afraid of his unusual calm and misconstrued it. As a result of this action, a new chapter was turned in his history. He had peace and became exceedingly rich. For that reason, he gave $500 to the man who taught him patience. Getting there, he told the man that he had actually sold patience to him, that he should have the money as a token of appreciation. The rich man became known far and wide. Other chiefs and rulers came to him and asked him to include their domains in his kingdom. There was a perfect peace and happiness in the land. See the second lesson below. Second lesson, Matthew twenty four thirteen. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. The time is now. What happened to the rich man can happen to anyone who gets acquainted with this particular gospel. Make an attempt to practice this gospel and see its wonders on you. I will be overstating the fact if I tell you the reward of patience. If you have been thinking that people do not love you and that things are hard with you, try this gospel and see the miracle of patience. The second lesson underscores this fact. And in another portion, the scripture has it that whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Matthew sixteen twenty five. The time of foolishness has passed. If you are advised to be impatient, fight, or cause confusion before your needs are attended to, this is not true. Such things would rather bring death to you. If people call you a bad person, you should examine yourself, and you would discover that you are impatient. People call you a fool because you are lacking patience. 
They also call you a Confucianist because of your impatience. We do not exercise patience over situations, and that is why we always fail. God is very patient. He is the Father of patience, and our Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord of patience. Demonstration of Patience Recall the local story of the owl and the kite. When the kite asked God what his food would be, God told the kite to go to the earth and bring anything he met on earth. The kite went and took the young owl. To its surprise, the mother did not make any trouble. She could not even turn to look at the owl. When the kite got to God with his prey, he asked the kite about the owl's reaction. The kite told God the mother of the young owl did not utter any word. God ordered the kite to go back with the young owl immediately because the kite might not know what the mind of the owl is. God told him to go and bring another prey. The kite picked up a chick and immediately the hen started fighting and struggling with the kite for her child. She made so much noise that the kite almost dropped back the chick. The kite was so frightened that the first thing it did when it got to God was to say that it would never go to such a family to look for food. He narrated the whole event to God and how the chick's mother almost killed him. God told the kite that he should make the chick his food. Until now, the chicks are kite's food. So, beloved, anyone who does not have patience is likened unto someone who builds a house without partitioning it into rooms. This means that all his property would be gathered in that open space. On the other hand, a patient person is like an owner of a house with many rooms. If you are in the parlor, you do not know what the other rooms are. The Saving Grace Man on his own does not possess any wisdom, power, or understanding which can help him. However, if any person has patience, he would be saved. There is nothing worthy of possession than patience. If you fight against a person who has patience, be reassured that he must win. There is nothing which a patient fellow cannot get from God. If you lack patience, all your efforts end in failure. The impatient people always end in nothingness. I want all human beings, the military, paramilitary, civil, business world, and technicians to buy this patience by reading this gospel. There is nothing which is permanent. A slave today can become a king tomorrow. Christ as a model. Impatience is the cause of all coup d'etats. A friend today can become an enemy tomorrow. Our lives on earth are very short. As such, patience should be a guide. If you possess patience, you can never have problems with people. Why was it possible for Job to regain all his properties, which he lost during the period of his temptations? It was because of his patience. Our Lord Jesus Christ overcame the entire world and conquered them with patience. If he did not possess patience when he was falsely accused, he would have quarreled. Even Pilate was so surprised to the point of asking whether he, Jesus, could not defend himself. He did not challenge any of their claims and accusations. The Jews did shameful and provocative things to him, but he did not fall short of his patience. At the end of it all, his glory is the greatest in the world. Read the golden text below. Golden text, James 5, 7 through 8. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receives the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Be consoled. Let us all have long patience, no matter the condition and situation we find ourselves in. Do not worry yourself about anything which happens to you, but wait for the fullness of time. Always console yourself with this golden text. Maybe you have been doing good things to people. Be consoled that God had kept a date to compensate you. However, if you do not possess patience, you will become irked and lose your blessings. Patience makes someone to be perfect and spotless, but to be impatient makes one irrational. 
May God bless his holy words. Amen. Thank you, good Father. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, delivered by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu, compiled by George Morales, voiceover by Shinteria. You're the lamb that was slain on the cross for man. You're the one that was worthy to open the seal. You came to save mankind from. We are the we 
worship Thee, we praise Thee, Son of glory, receive honor, even now and evermore. Worthy is the Lamb to receive honor. Oh. Uh-huh.